In June 2025, researchers announced a major step toward interstellar travel. A new type of ultra-thin light sail, just 200 nanometers thick and designed using AI, can now be manufactured in under 24 hours, making large-scale production possible for the first time. This development supports Breakthrough Starshot, a project aiming to send gram-scale spacecraft to Alpha Centauri using ground-based lasers instead of rockets. In this video, we'll break down what this advancement means, how the technology works, and where we are on the path to reaching another star system. Breakthrough Starshot was launched in 2016 with one goal to send a lightweight spacecraft to Alpha Centauri within a human lifetime. This requires reaching about 20% of the speed of light, a velocity far beyond what chemical rockets can provide. The mission relies on two core components, an ultra-thin reflective sail and a high-powered laser system to propel it. Until now, building a light sail that meets both performance and production requirements has been one of the project's key bottlenecks. The sail must be incredibly lightweight, highly reflective, structurally stable, and scalable, all at a reasonable cost. That's where this month's breakthrough comes in. A team led by Dr. Richard Nort at Delft University of Technology published a new method for designing and manufacturing light sails using AI-based optimization. The sail is composed of silicon nitride and is just 200 nanometers thick roughly one thousandth the width of a human hair. What makes this design unique is its pattern surface, filled with microscopic pentagonal holes. These holes aren't decorative. They're part of a machine-learned geometry optimized to increase reflectivity while reducing weight and structural stress. The algorithm evaluated thousands of design permutations to reach this balance. The resulting structure allows the sail to efficiently convert photon pressure into thrust while staying intact under the force of rapid acceleration. Equally important is the production time. The new design can be manufactured in roughly one day compared to the much slower and more expensive fabrication of earlier prototypes. This drops the cost per square meter dramatically, making it feasible to produce multiple sails rather than one-off lab pieces. According to the research team, these sails can be scaled up to support a one-gram payload, including sensors, cameras, or communication hardware. While further testing is needed, this marks the first time a light sail design meets both the physical and economic constraints required for the Starshot concept. Light sails don't carry fuel. Instead, they rely on the physical momentum of photons, particles of light. When photons strike a reflective surface, they transfer a tiny amount of momentum. On Earth, this force is imperceptible. But in the vacuum of space, with a sail designed to optimize reflectivity and minimize weight, the cumulative effect becomes meaningful. Breakthrough Starshot aims to use this principle at scale. The vision involves a large phased array of ground-based lasers occupying several square kilometers firing in unison to focus a coherent light beam on the sail. This beam would strike the sail for around 10 minutes, pushing the craft to approximately 20% of the speed of light. That velocity, roughly 60,000 kilometers per second, would allow the probe to reach Alpha Centauri in just over 20 years. Constructing the laser array is an immense technical challenge. It requires synchronization of thousands of lasers real-time tracking of a sail traveling at increasing speeds, and correction for atmospheric distortion. Research labs and companies like Hamamatsu Photonics are already developing the high-powered diode lasers that could serve as building blocks for the system. The lasers themselves would not pose a safety threat. Their intensity is only concentrated well above Earth's atmosphere. For people on the ground, or even aircraft flying overhead, the exposure would be similar to strong sunlight. The risk only applies at the focal point in the upper atmosphere, far from any typical flight paths. Another core challenge is beam precision. The sail must remain aligned with the beam during acceleration, which requires autonomous stabilization systems or highly adaptive optics. 
even small deviations could send the probe off course, wasting the launch. What makes the recent sail development relevant here is that the material's geometry improves beam interaction stability, reducing the chance of unpredictable movement during acceleration. So while the photon engine still requires significant work, the recent progress on sail design helps make the full system more viable. Interstellar travel may be the long-term objective, but the same technology has clear applications in near-Earth missions, especially in reducing travel time within the solar system. For instance, the new sail design could enable a mission to Mars in approximately 32 hours if coupled with sufficient laser power. Even accounting for practical delays, this is orders of magnitude faster than current missions that take several months. Short-range missions like these offer multiple advantages. They allow for testing of sail deployment, beam control, thermal performance, and real-time adjustments under flight conditions. These missions could deliver small payloads to various locations much more rapidly than traditional spacecraft. Beyond the excitement, there are still serious engineering challenges. Micrometeoroid protection. At relativistic speeds, even tiny particles in space could severely damage the sail or payload. Some form of shielding, redundancy, or sacrificial design may be necessary. Thermal management. Despite its thinness, the sail absorbs a small portion of the beam's energy. Managing heat without increasing weight is a material science issue that remains open. Data transmission. Once the probe leaves Earth's proximity, communicating across light years becomes difficult. Traditional radio signals may not be efficient enough. Laser-based communication systems are one potential solution, but they require precise alignment and sufficient onboard power. Miniaturization of payloads. With a one gram weight limit, only the most compact systems can be carried. Advances in microelectronics and sensor technology are helping, but there's limited room for redundancy. Despite these challenges, the ability to manufacture sales quickly and affordably opens the door to repeatability. Rather than sending one $500 million probe, Starshot could launch dozens or even hundreds of lightweight explorers, each with a specific function or destination. This concept, distributing missions across many craft, has both scientific and operational benefits. Failures become less costly. Data collection becomes more comprehensive and as manufacturing scales, launch frequency increases. The one-day light sail breakthrough brings interstellar travel a step closer. Challenges remain, but the path is now clearer and grounded in real engineering. We're no longer just imagining the journey, now we're building it. See you next time.